What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to the first stream where we are tackling the Kitakame Shiny Challenge. Or the Shiny Kitakame Challenge, whichever one you may like. Now, as you know, the, the tier match recently came out, and that usually that came to involve uh, 100 uh, returning Pokemon. In this amazing Pokedex that I still haven't finished yet. Either way, I've decided to give myself a little bit of a test. So, what I have here is a wheel. And on this wheel, every single Pokemon that was added to this DLC is on. And so, I am going to spin this wheel, and whatever it lands on, we're going to hunt for that first. And the way I'm going to hunt for it is any way I choose. So, we're going to go through this wheel until there's nothing left. And why isn't it going away? And, uh, as you can see here... I have a special box here, where all these special shinies are going to be. Now, as you can see, I have already gained a few of these shinies. That being Scattershot here. That being Scattershot here, my Vigabolt. But, I am not going to count this towards it. Because there's going to be one continuous challenge until I have finished every single new Pokemon added to this DLC. So that means Scattershot and Kiriko here do not count because they were outside of the challenge what I'm gonna be catching now will so uh, without further ado as soon as I've tested these emotes we will begin and they are so everything's good also I have a special guest with us today this now for the people who are unaware this is not just a regular Noivern. This is a mark in history as being my first ever successful egg hunt. This is the original Echo and the one that's shown all over our channel's production and merchandise. Well, not merchandise, but promotional material. This is that beautiful little echo that hatched in the, in the egg back in Sword and Shield. And I can prove it as well, because it says there that it was found in the Galar region. Sword and Shield was its home region. And she's amazing, isn't she? She has also managed to come meet her descendant. The echo you know. Right. Now that that's out of the way, let the hunt begin. So, our first task is to spin the wheel. And whatever the sun's on, we shall hunt for it. Our first hunt is. Cleffer. Cleffer is our first hunt. Okay. So. Now that that is the case, we are going to go and find out the best way to find a Cleffer. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the best way to find a Cleffer is in the mountains. So we're going to start from the Infernal Pass. So as soon as we find a stable footing, we shall go and look for our first hunt. First off we save, just in case we don't find it. Hmm. 
Okay. The sandwich recipe I'll be doing, for people who don't know, is green bell peppers, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, and for the fairy sandwich to activate, we will need two portions of tomatoes. Right. The mystic curve, the herba. We shall take a sweet and spicy. Even though we've um, picked Clever, by the way, if we somehow find a Clefairy, that counts. Which arguably might be a bit, little bit better, the, the fact of uh, it would just be more entertaining to find, I guess. Let's just do a stacking game here. Now, uh, just because Cleffa is here does not mean that it would be the only thing we could hunt for today. We could find other fairy types, or if we find it earlier in the stream than predicted, we can go for another one of the wheel. It's depending on how much time we have. There we go. The first hunt is underway. Oh, before I do that, though, I need to update the over overlay. Uh, Cleffa. Shiny Cleffa. That should do it. And there we go. Perfect size, too. And welcome back, Twitch. We have just uh, got our thing started up. Let's go. Yeah, there's a chance we might bump into a Mimikyu, I know. But there is no problem with that because Mimikyu is an awesome Pokemon. Now, Cleffa, if I remember right, does not spawn on this route. So I might want to pick it up when I get the right option. Oh, we had a Houndor. Must be a static spawn, that. No. That town do must be a static spawn as well. It's weird seeing Mimikyu out in the day like this. It made sense in um, Tag Tree Thicket because it, the um, sun was blocked out by all the trees. But here there's no cover for that, and yeah, they're straight up everywhere. And yeah, I know like, Mimikyu isn't our target, but it's just interesting to watch. Okay, our next target should, our first target should be up here at the crystal pool. And I just crashed into a random rock. Right, and if I remember correctly, Cleffa spawns in this cave around here. Which leads to a bit of a drop. And there! Uh, Cleffers! Oh, that's another thing as well. One of the other options in the wheel, Carbink, here. Um, they can show up with this sandwich. So, if we find another Pokemon that wasn't assigned to the wheel, 
we'd take it off then even if we didn't pick it. Just to make things a bit easier. So yeah, if we find a carbink while we're looking for clever, we can mark carbink off. And here we are. Clefers and Clefairy. And as I said, Carbink can spawn. And we go one down further and we've got loads of spawns in. Yeah, with this being clever, it might be a while. So, what I'm going to do to reset the spawns is I'm going to go into this cave here with this worst cache. Oh, Phoebus. Probably won't, but whatever. Well, well. That's a good point. I might want to move uh, Echo out of the way. Scatter shot in front. Alright. Where were we? Just out of curiosity, I want to try something. I wonder if they spawn down here. No, it's just swine ups. Let us uh, have another look on where we could come flying Cleffer a bit better than this. Cleffer, Cleffer, Cleffer. Ah, Cleffer. In the mountains. Becomes more active at night. Makes sense. It is getting darker, so might see more. Bones like uh, Clefairy, but that's a static spawn, so that won't count. Hatenas. I didn't think about Hatena. Oh well. Whoops. So yeah, if we did find Mimikyu, uh, it wouldn't count. So there's a chance we might have lose the Mimikyu. Which would be a really big chance. So if anything, it would make sense to get out of the way of these Mimikyus before the inevitable happens. I could have sworn that was a better location to look for Cleffa. We're nearly back at the crystal pool now. Just wondering if we could show up around this part of the mountain. In here. The chilling waterhead. Eh, worth a shot. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's a Gumi boy. Oh, that's festivity. Uh, I don't want to deal with you right now. Let's just teleport back to the, the pool, the crystal pool. See if I can find any information quickly. Oh! They spawn out here. Okay, that makes things easier. Right, before I carry on. Where is he? Where is he? Eh. Okay. Fighting bug berry. Berry, uh, two fairy type for you. Cleffa and Carbink. Yeah, that's a bit. Uh, I just remember there's um, a promoted outbreak gonna be coming soon. It looks like there's a. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I now understand what to do. Oh. Oh my god, I've never seen this before. They were dancing. That was weird, but exciting. It's like a event. Like a bit like how Zangus and Zaviper are supposed to fight. He would suppose to fight. Although I have to admit, they've been spawning a lot around the crystal pool. Maybe this is where I should hunt. We've already gone through nine minutes of the, the sandwich. Now I'll, I'll look. I'll follow the advice I was given. I like the music around the crystal pool, I meant that. Let's check if we got a carving. Let's go for our intended hunt then, being clever. Uh, nope, 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 nope. None of you, as far as I can tell, but... Again, I should follow the advice that uh, I've just been given. Now, from what I was told, what I need to do... is go over here... Send up my follow me option, and then go. Oh well, okay, that's a bug. And apparently, it's supposed to do the best. Yeah, that's doing it. Hmm. 
Yeah, just look at me while I, while my, while my Vicar Vault murders all your kind. <laughs> Hey, at least we got a lot of clever for a uh, TM building. Oh, <laughs> kick back and relax, eh? <laughs> uh, also, uh, apologies for anyone whose favorite Pokemon is Cleffa or Clefairy, because uh, I got a feeling you're not going to be liking my content at this point, are you? Considering I'm causing a mass genocide. Go on then. I guess I better reset it back up. go further back up, it'll cause things to spawn them. See, there you go. So, uh, for people who have actually managed to play the DLC, I want to know, what is your opinion of the DLC? Uh, for my opinion, I want to say, uh, I really enjoys it. I, I'm really enjoying it. Like, the story was good. The returning Pokemon were a breath of, breath of fresh air. I just j overall liked it. For just generally the fact that it, it brought so much to the main game. Even had a lot of quality of life improvements. It still surprised me of how flipping fast Vekavolt is in the in the overworld gets so slow in game. Just keeping an eye on where they spawn so I know if a shiny spawns. Oh I know, it's the camera feature. Doesn't zoom that much, but it zooms enough. Dang it. Let's get rid of them lot. Hello? Scatter shot. Oh, I've had, I've had about this. Send them back out again. And go over here. And see, we're back to normal. Not again.
Okay, maybe the camera won't work because it just sends him back. So I've just got to rely on my own eyes again. That's it. That Clefairy is not shining. Okay, at least it actually sent it back to its Pokeball. Well, that's what happens when you face a flipping rock type scatter shot. Come on. Right now, it should start to work properly now. See, there you go. There we go. We're starting to get things spawning now. Come on. Work with me. And why attack the carvings? Are they spawning in that corner or something? Let me despawn everything there. How much time do I have? 12 minutes already, Jesus. Maybe I just need to be a little bit closer. Fingers crossed, boys. Good, good, that's it.
Something's gotta show up at some point. Kudos to Scattershot, he's really pulling his weight. Go here to despawn the spawns, and then hopefully a new cell will show up. I had to get one of the most tedious ones first, huh? Typical. 
Work with me, game. Give me the weird fairy smurf thing. What even is a fairy supposed to be? All I know is apparently it's supposed to be come from apparently it's supposed to come from space. Maybe I should put this thing in the moon ball when I find it. It does evolve in with the moonstone, so it would work. Am I am I just getting unlucky here? Don't attack the carbanks. What the? Why are you doing that? Yeah, it's probably a good idea to put that out on. <laughs> okay, that car big is done to got my nerves. Attacking the wrong flipping Pokemon, specifically that Carbink. I wonder why that specific Carbink makes it faint, especially when it just killed another one. Now he's killed it. Come on, come on. Three minutes, how fast did that go? Do I need to point it out? Gotta get somewhere. I'm not sure if it's my. Mm, I'm not sure if it's me, but some of these guys are looking more white than pink. Don't attack the carbink. Don't attack the carbink. You attack the carbink. It wastes time when he does that. Maybe I should put a steel type against all this so it doesn't waste time. I know.
for a minute I thought that one that, that Clefairy that just showed up then counted. Like, I mean, was the shiny. Do it. When I thought about this challenge, I didn't think I'd be just sitting in a corner just waiting for my Vigavol to do the job. At least I've got a... What did I just kill? <sighs> the sandwich is out. And that means I'm going to have to restart the sandwich. So the first sandwich of this challenge is a bust. <laughs> uh. At least I know how to do it from the start, and I need to put a steel type in front of them, so carbing don't so don't slow us down. Not saying the scatter shot didn't do his job; it was just more annoying. Apparently there's something you can do here, in the accessibility settings. Update console language region console sound mute zoom display zoom ah here we go that should make things easier All right uh -oh. There's a sound effect when coughing spews its gas. That's clever. Oh, that's nice attention. Right, let's get it back up to the crystal pool. Actually, as well, before we do that, let's check if there's an outbreak. That might make things easier. Knocked out, town to mouse, E electric. Nope. Just check him. Come on, Marida, move the wheels. Oh, 
There we go. Okay. Now we'll save here. God, Nine Tails uses its tails as a flippin... Oh, God. <laughs> and Frenzy sits on its tail as it sleeps. Let's try that again, eh? Hello, big up monarch. Uh, welcome to the shiny Kitakami challenge. Unfortunately, we uh, rolled Clapper for our first uh, hunt. So we shall hunt for the weird uh, tiny spaceman with green ears. But obviously, since you're a fan of green shinies, I know you'll at least find this shiny a bit more pleasing compared to me. You're right. And then shove a red bell pepper on there. Perfect for vegans. Cooking with nitro. The quickest way. Cooking with Jay, where our motto is, the quickest isn't the healthiest. I don't know what shiny clap like. Yeah, all it has is just green ears like that. How come everything I've been hunting recently is a green shiny? Oh, you need to have a look at Vicavol, by the way, if you like green shinies. What'd you think of this guy? Tell you what, hang on. There we are. That's what Vicavolt looks like. Right, uh, first off, I need to put a steel type in my box, because, um, yeah, um, carbink showed up a lot when I was going through this. It was very annoying. Yep, that's what a Vicavolt. Let's use my Tinker Ton. I'll do the job. Uh, let's put Kiriko on the side for now. Tinkerton will do the job fine. I love the music around this pool. Yeah, um... So as I just mentioned, Carving has shown to be a bit of a problem. So we're going to be using my Tinker Ton because... Oh, that, that's a cool thing as well. For some reason, Clefairies randomly do dancing. Like this. And I just bumped into a Clefair. Should I? Go on. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> I had to. Look, the hammer's already out, I gotta do something with it. Right, 
Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Too late. Okay. Big pink meanie flattens a little baby. Yeah, I've been hunting for a lot of green shinies instinctively recently. And here's where we'll be hunting for a little marshmallow. Just to make sure people know as well, Clefairy counts for my challenge. Have fun, Tinkerton! And now we just watch the chaos incarnate. <laughs> This is all we do until a shiny Clefairy shows up, or a Clefa. Just watch my Tinkerton just cause mass genocide of an entire colony of Clefa Clefa and Clefairies. And I've also done this as well in my settings. Whoops, nope. There we go. It's a zoom function. And now we just watch. <laughs> In all its pixelated glory. And hopefully it'll help identify when we find the shiny. If there were a lot of people in this stream right now, I could see this becoming a meme. <laughs> but there isn't, so... <laughs> I'm glad to know it's working now that I've gotten the steel type to bash those, uh, tink those, uh, carvings. Show me the tuna. Also, I watched some of the Bullons videos this morning at the part where the switch drew. Was it? Well, um... Something else I was trying really hard with on that video was, um, you know the uh, bit where we're chasing after the tank? I put Flight of the Valkyries on it. <laughs> you know, the, the, <laughs> but I found a version of it that fits perfectly because it's played with banjo music. <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. Like, like, go go to the bit where we're chasing the uh, tank, and you, you'll hear it after me and um, Crowy kill that one random biker that was attacking us. Like, it fits really perfect for some reason. It's perfect. Frankly, just having someone to talk to during this shiny hunt is actually making me feel a bit better. It's nothing better than a bit of company while you're watching a mass destruction of an entire colony of Cleffers. Is this a metaphor? Is this one of those metaphor things when you, um... Like when you're comparing your situation to what happened with aliens in Roswell, New Mexico? <laughs> 
You know, that weird incident in 1940-something. Kira, didn't you have a banjo or was that a ukulele you had? I can't remember which one. These boots were made for a weapon, and that's just what they'll do. Um, have you decided to stop, Tinkatan? Oh. Um. Did I ask you to go to sleep? Get up, you lazy bitch. Time to wacky wacky the smellshmallows. Yeah, secretly it was Meg who did all the ukulele. -ing. I mean the banjoing. Imagine just Meg just on a hammock just playing the ukulele. Meg just a banjo man. I can't lie, this is done to feel a bit more tedious than I was planned. Either that or I've just gotten really unlucky. I didn't tell you what happened, did I, Kira? Something really bad happened last night to my PS5. Is this... <laughs> oh god, no, don't bring, don't bring that sort of comedy into my channel. <laughs> Look, the Pink Panther went the same after his, enc his encounter with Care Bear Smurf. <laughs> with him, with Care Bears. <laughs> well, um, last night, um, I was play. I was obviously like, using a PS5, <laughs> but then um, the Sky Internet came down, and I I can't help but think it was similar. But when it was happening, I was getting no. Like, there was nothing showing up on my screen, even though it was saying it was turning on. And then it eventually uh, showed up with a screen saying that my PS5's database was corrupted. Completely. And I was doing re as much research as I could without any internet. And all I could find was I had to factory reset my PS5. Back to as when I went first got out of the box. So the whole of last night and all of today, I've been trying to reinstall everything. So I've been having to reinstall More Combat 1, Overwatch 2, Persona 5 Royal, Gundam, Gundam, Vermintide, all in one day. And I don't even think most of that is installed properly yet. So if I pop on later, my options are going to be very limited.
Okay, I, am I the only one thinking that this is kind of a bit suspicious how it's been taking forever for me to find this shiny clever? For the fact that so many of them have shown up, I have the shiny charm and I have a shiny sandwich going on. I feel like I should hide it by now. Y you would not believe how much of a blind panic I was in last night. Because the, m the main thing was, after I factory reset my PS5, it wouldn't let me connect to the internet to put me details back in. So my details were in jeopardy. I could have lost all my save progress that night. And why have you stopped? <laughs> okay, at least we've got 16 minutes left. Barricaded me in. If anything, I was kind of hoping for something a bit more exciting. Like a more interesting shiny. Like Jangmo or something. Did I tell you to come back? No. So yeah, I kind of had a really bad time, didn't I? Frankly, overall, with the whole PS5 incident, I kind of have no idea how it happened, because the internet wouldn't have caused the database to be corrupted. Was it just a really bad case? Because all I did to the PS5 at first, before it started to go wrong, was just restart it like you would normally would with internet problems. You should got more Clefairies here than Clefers. Come on. Shine for me, please. Someone give me some shiny luck. I'll trade me pinky toe for a shiny cleffer. If that worked, I'd be shitting myself, because that means I'd have to go and get a soul. <laughs> I've got Flight of the Valkyrie stuck in my head now. I think the sensible thing to say is, uh, 
I'm not gonna stop streaming until I find at least one shiny. Because it'd be pretty bad if I started this challenge without it. And Tinkerton stopped again. Behind you. I think Tinkerton might be my favorite fairy type, I'm not gonna lie. That Clefairy's just jumping up to me now, trying to beg me to stop my Tinkerton from attacking. <laughs> Little does she know. She's the next target. <laughs> this is actually kind of getting ridiculous. Like, no, no jokes. Th this is actually getting kind of ridiculous. Gamer. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting. All right. That. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm guessing it doesn't exactly help that I don't get uh, notifications uh, on Discord thanks to streaming mode. Ah, uh, funky. I thought since I'm home, I might as well join on my phone while I make dinner. Yeah. Cause, oh, if you saw, I made lasagna yesterday. I, well, I couldn't because I had no internet. Oh yeah, well, I made lasagna yesterday. Ah. From scratch. Wait a minute. Oh right, it was on a Tuesday. I was gonna say if it was Monday, then that was a no-go. No, 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 no. I was also wearing my Garfield shirt when I made it. And I did not realize that until... Oh, Jesus, my mother's had more lasagna than I thought. <laughs> Damn, she really liked it. Okay. I just remember that show um, back on Boomerang where it was just very hard jazz on the theme song. Oh, the Garfield show? Yeah. Like, it basically... That. that was really good. They basically just shoved the saxophone down a wind turbine and see what happened. <laughs> Pretty much. Big slice of lasagna... Yeah, I made everything from from scratch. I made my own sauce and everything. I'm very proud of myself. I made funky lasagna. So now I'm gonna micro microwave myself a slice. Fair enough. Where is? I don't want my lasagna to explode. Um, we might have a bit of a development, by the way. Oh? Mike's been saying to me that um, there's a chance he might be going to Greece for a week next week. Okay. So that either means uh, we're going to have to do next episode of Borderlands with Adam, or we're going to have to do a one-off. Or I could hop in. I mean, I have Borderlands 3 installed now. Mm. I think uh, it's... And also, next week I have two weeks off from work, so... Ooh. I'm taking my two weeks holidays next week. That's nice. Yep. So I I would actually be able to join you guys if you needed it. I think you from? Okay. He said nothing was guaranteed, but I'm just wanting to say it while someone's here. Oh yeah, well, that's fair. Is that what? Oh, it is. Okay. Sick. Can I hear Honestly though, that comment you made earlier, like, pink on pink crime. 
Ping Kong Ping Crime! That's what it is! Until we find a Ping Kong Ping Kong Green Crime. I'm not, I'm not stopping. Ooh, it's so buttery and melty. Oh god. Well, don't you want that in a lasagna? No, it's the garlic bread that I bought to oh, go with my lasagna. That's even better. Get some fucking mozzarella on that, you saw it. I know, but I'm gonna cook it in the air fryer, which means I need to like cut it in half. So it can fit. There we go. But it also means I'm getting garlic butter all over my hands. What's wrong with that? It just feels a little gross because it's greasy. But it's garlic. I know, but it's like... I don't like having greasy thing feel on my hand. I get enough of it at work, so it's just like... Bleh. It's a little bit icky is all. Alright, garlic bread is in the air fryer. How long does that stay to cook for? In the oven. From chill? Okay, we'll put it in for 10 minutes. Can we just see the see irony of it? Goes. Like, um, there's like a whole method of shiny hunting in um, Scarlet and Violet based around sandwiches. And you took a job at that sort of thing when the game came I, out. Yeah, I make sandwiches for a living. And I make sandwiches to find different colored creatures. Yay. Uh, I'm gonna send a picture of the lasagna to uh, to the Discord once it's heated up and ready. Maybe I should open the microwave. Maybe I should make a new tab dedicated to showing off food. Is there not already a tab for that? It used to be. Big. I got criticized for having too many tabs. Well, there was a lot. Binky. Oh, you haven't been fed. I'm so sorry. Sorry! I know! Can you hear her? Yeah. Which means yeah, she the, yelling. Which means the god will. Is she yelling? Is she hungry? Here you go! Here you go, puppy! Uh, uh, Binky, where's your sister? Where is she? She'll come running in a second. Hold on. I gotta yell for the cat! i mute myself real quick. Mm -hmm. Nope, none of them are shiny. For a minute, I thought that big one over there was. Where's the baby? I don't know where she is. Is she in the garden? No, I hope she's not outside because it's raining. Yeah, I think I just gotten really unlucky because this is the second sandwich and it's nearly up. I found the babe, but she was outside. Hmm. I had to open the front door and yell for her. It's okay, can you open Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Don't steal your sister's food. It's not a good idea. Protective is that getting a little? Oh. Protective as food as much as dogs are, I guess. Well, no. Um. Sometimes Binky will just push Cleo out of the way to get her food, even though she's already eaten a whole bowl of her own. 
and vice versa. Oh, that smells so good. Is that hot though? I would assume it would be. I don't know if it's heated the whole way through, so I'm gonna leave it in for a little bit more. Just a little bit longer. It's also a completely vegetarian lasagna. Broccoli? Uh, no, there's carrot, onion, and leek, and garlic in there, and it's got, uh, corn mints. I might flip that. Ooh. I don't think lasagna should pop like that. <laughs> Oh no, where's my other level? Oh, that. Binky, no! Binky! Binky! No! Binky! Stop sniffing your sister's ass while she's trying to eat! Come on, Cleo, it's okay! Come on! It's okay! Come on, okay, it's okay! Eat your food! This is kinda getting frustrating now. There you go! Nom nom! Oh yeah, it's gonna look that. See, um, I checked with everyone um I knew who had um Sky um about the whole mm -hmm. situation about the internet. Apparently the entire country got knocked off. Who had Sky? Oh wild. So it was a big fuck up. Yeah, I'd say that's probably done. I'm just gonna wait for my. For my. Oh, yeah, that's definitely done. I gotta wait for my garlic bread now and then. I didn't get How did it make such a mess? Okay, Jesus Christ. I usually get told to put like a bowl over the meal so it actually. Yeah, I did. It oh. still somehow popped a little bit and it exploded. I'm gonna have to take that out. I don't know why, but thinking about microwave makes me think of that scene from Iron Man 3. Where it's just that what woman, scene? that woman's trying to kill her, uh, kill Iron Man, but he basically makes a micro microwave explode in front of her. Oh, yeah. And then, I'm trying very not to burn my hand on the metal ring that is in the microwave oof. while I clean up yeah. the little mess I've made. And then she, she insults him by saying, You. You hurt everyone around you, and she, and Tony just goes, "Lady, you just giving me the name of my autobiography." <laughs> Isn't three the one where he has real bad PTSD, or is well, that two? No, three. You got it right. But again, are you surprised after what he had to go through in Avengers? No, not at all. But. Still weird because like he promises Pepper he'll never make another suit again. He makes more suits. And he makes one for her. And that's the second that's sandwich. And that's the second sandwich done now. For God's sake, I wanted to at least try and get two shinies today. Uh, I hate putting the microwave back together. It's super annoying. There's something worse. Can this just sit on the thing, please? There we go. Ooh, that's still on. I think my garlic bread is done. Night! Hot plate! They put one of the best songs ever written for a film mm. on one of the most unsettling things in that movie. What is the thing we're talking about? Were you not humming uh, the song that uh, Pippin sings from Lord of the Rings? No. I don't even know what he is. Oh, it sounded point. like it was. I don't know. It sounded like it was. 
No, but you know that scene in, I think it's the two towers. I... No, it's Return of the King. Where the Lord of Gondor is sitting at the table and it's that really uncomfortable scene of him eating a tomato. Who, who eats a raw tomato? Who Me, eats... but like, the way he eats it is so uncomfortable. Who eats a tomato overall? Me, I eat raw tomatoes. You're, you're kind of supposed to, but... Ah, hot plate, hot plate, hot plate, I forgot, Tomat I picked it up. Tomatoes are horrible. Tomatoes are nice in certain... in certain things, but not all things. Bitter and salty. Oh, well that's the oven. I don't even know how you actually turned on the ov your oven. Oh no, I put the timer on. Oh. For my garlic bread. Well, I'm making virtual sandwiches to make weird marshmallow marshmallowy space people come out with green ears. Give me a fork and a knife. I'm gonna take a picture of my my dinner. My homemade lasagna. Been thinking, it might be an idea to consider getting vermin tied back out for um a one-off one time. Shit. I nearly collapsed the fucking sandwich. Oh god. And if that happened, the it, like the the buffs that I need wouldn't have shown up, so I would have had to do it again. I don't think I'm gonna get a job at your place anytime soon, looking at this sandwich. Probably not, but... Oh, oh it's very, very, very hot. That's usually what happens when you stuff, stuff things into the microwave. No, no. I didn't put the garlic bread in the microwave. You still cooked it. I put it in the air fryer. We're just gonna bring up the that lasagna, meme where however, did go in the microwave. The, um, the air fryer. Hmm. The air fryer is the best thing we've ever gotten. It makes cooking so easy. Yeah. It's basically like a better microwave. Okay, let's try this for the third time now. Hmm. Yeah, you heard me. We're going back into the cave to the first clever hunt to get shinies off the plains. No, I had a piece of my lasagna and it's so uh, it's so good. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I swear that clever. I'm is so Garf score. Glass score. Garf core. Garf core. Yeah. I do have the right sandwich, right? Because so far there's only one Clefairy. Okay, now this doesn't show up. I do need a moment if you're a little bit too far away. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to go further back. Yeah, that, that, now this time. Um, so I've never cooked with wine before, but I did it with the lasagna because it's part of the recipe where you put wine in the meat sauce. When I was young, but that was I, a lot of fun because it smelled really good. When I was young, um, and I heard people put alcohol in drinks, like you know how you put wine in, I thought that was a way to make um make it so food can make a drink. Oh, funny. Obviously no, that. it's actually the longer you cook it, the less alcohol content there is in the thing. It was especially when people said marinated. Marinated sounds like a sort of thing that you would do to something to make you very uh, tipsy. Well, they made a joke out of that in the Aristocats. 
you remember the um? Yeah, the that's why I that's, the goose uncle. <laughs> that's the reason why I know the word marinated. The goose uncle, because they marinated him in sherry, and he drank it. <laughs> Yummy lasagna. Oh, it smells so good. Will you stop going on strike, Tinkerton? You're supposed to be donkey marshmallow people. At least that's what I think Skull Fairy's made of. Makes sense, since apparently, according to lore, uh, Clefairy's from the moon. When she's made of cheese. Well, the moon is made of cheese. Well, considering someone keeps pissing on the moon. Fermented cheese. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I hated it as I said it, but I still have to say it. I'm just glad I'm sticking to cheese like Red Leicester and mozzarella. And in case you're wondering, I think cheddar's a bit too strong. Well, you can get mild cheddar. Even mild cheddar just seems a bit too much for me. Personally, I like medium cheddar because it's, it's the, um... <laughs> Red Lest is the go-to for me. It's weird. I believe Although, it. I don't like white cheddar. That's too strong. Only red cheddar. I'm not... One thing I feel like I need to have a little nibble of at one point. Wensleydale. Wensleydale? Wed I yeah. knew I was to say Wensleydale. I've never had Wensleydale. Neither have I. Should do like a cheese tasting thing. Well, all fancy dancy with a bit of wine and a bit of grapes. <laughs> Not necessarily. I just mean somewhere that's got like a charcuterie board. The only time it's I've... got like the the nice meats Ooh. and cheeses. You can eat the meats. I can eat the cheeses. <laughs> it's a solid plan. <laughs> <laughs> I need a napkin, but I also don't want to pick. Hold on, I'll be back. I would not mind the idea of going back to Ireland, though. Yeah. Ooh, you fucked up, you're falling off the table. Alright, there we go. Hello! Hello. Okay. Did you drop me on the floor? Oh. I did not. I put my head. I see. I've only got my earbuds in right now. Uh, right. Uh, so when I put them on the table, they just slid off <laughs> onto the floor. Um, I have the day off tomorrow. I think I deserve a drink. Oh, uh, we know it. Uh, you know what that means. It's gonna be a fun night tonight. That is. Yeah. You said something right about reinstalling Vermintide. I already. I always had it installed. Oh, the way you said reinstall made it sound like you didn't have it installed before your P uh, for your PlayStation uh, shot itself. Well, that's me. Everything had to be deleted, even games that were Where playing. Is... Where she put my vodka? <laughs> Where did she put it? If they had any sense, a safe place. The problem is, when things get moved, and I don't know where they get put, I then am like, why is it not in the place where I put it? <laughs> Did you put it in here? Oh, hello, Cleo. Ah! Oh, I've got loads left. I thought I had a lot less than that left. Lovely. I think my eyes are playing, me, playing on me, because some of these did look shiny for a second. Yeah, I was, while I was watching the stream was on the way home, like, some of them look a bit pinker than normal. Something's not right, and then I'd be like, but it's also too far for me to be able to tell. That's why I'm using the zoom function. I know, I was looking at through the zoom that you're looking at, and I'm like, it's too far away for me to tell, even with the zoom. Please, that wheel I have has so many good options to hunt. 
And I get for one of the most tedious. Cave boy, I guess. Could have gone flipping grubbing. Grubbing is so cool. Uh, yeah, just just so you know, um, I have already gotten some shinies that came into the game, but I'm deciding not to count them. So like, I've got a full display case of the fact. Yeah, I've done it. I've shiny hunted everything that's new in the DLC. Oh yeah. And then after that, it's just seeing if there's anything left, and then um, we go back to the cap. Unfortunately. Hmm. Thing is, after the cat, we're gonna be uh, leaving the. What other... number are you on for the? What's for that people? Eight hundred and thirty-three. Oh my god! And just for the con context, I should have had it at five hundred and twelve, according to the game statistics. Damn. So what you're gonna get it at? Five. What? No. 1,024? Tori was joking about that when we were first talking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... I'm a little bit, um... I have to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned about Tori. We haven't what? Heard, we haven't heard from them from the war. Yeah, they've been talking a bit, but... It feels like they haven't really gotten involved a lot recently. Well, maybe they just haven't been able to show up for the stream. Like in person. I guess. Because they've been chatting in the Discord, I saw. Yeah, that, that, that's why I'm saying, like, it looked nice. Like, I've seen that she's been communicating, but it's just very rarely. I'm just, I'm just hoping she's okay. That they're okay. That's all. I think, I think what the case is, they're probably just working on the art. On art. Because they've got like a long list of characters to draw. I was still wondering about like what the size is going to be, but I, rem I remember that you said you wanted your la rat to be the size of a human. Yeah, I just thought that'd be really funny. I oh, want the air cooker just turned off. Air cooker, air fryer. I always set the timer on it for longer than it needs to be, just in case. Mm. And it just, it the timer just stopped. <laughs> Why has Tinkerton stopped? I think it's a bug. I've got the click. I've got my uh, clip button ready for when I eventually find it, so then that'll be easy to put onto the short related uh, contents. If I find it. Mm. If I get. If I see that it's gone dark outside, I'll go up back out into the crystal pool because it looked more like I went to a more familiar ground than this. This is getting ridiculous though, like, I should have found it back. What the? That carbink was under the water! Please help, I'm under the water. Why? Why did you <laughs> no? Please help, I'm under the water. At this rate, there'll only be a VOD, not an edited video.
No, so yesterday when I was making the lasagna, I'm gonna keep talking about this forever, but um, I started making it at like half eight. Mm -hmm. And when I finally got to actually sit down and eat it, it was 20 past 11. Ouch. I was wondering why you sent that so late. I thought like, oh, maybe the internet must have made the, the post delayed or something. No, that was when I was actually eating it. Because it took about... I'd say the first part of it took a good hour. Mm. Right, so about half nine, closer to ten o'clock. And then I forgot to preheat my oven. Oh. So I then had to wait for the oven to preheat for 20 minutes, which then it was about ten o'clock. That's... Or a little after. Oof, that, that, that's really nasty when you forget to And then that. it takes 45 minutes to bake the lasagna. Yeah. So, by the time I got to eat it, it was real late. Oh. But I basically, I ate it and then went to bed. There's one thing I've been really excited for, food-wise, that might be happening on the weekend. Mm-hmm. My mum's signature rice pudding. Mm -hmm. I love rice pudding. I'm not a huge fan of rice pudding, although I've not had many. The thing is, the only ingredients my mum needs is pudding rice, caster sugar, and milk, and that's it. Funky. I know I had chocolate rice pudding when I was younger, and I used to really like it. I didn't know that was a thing. To yeah. Fair, to be fair, the way my mum did it was always that good, I didn't even care about what flavor it was. Well, it was, was. store-bought, so... Oh, right. Well, like, I think my mum does it homemade. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I think that makes it a lot better. That's probably leagues better than store-bought, but... Yeah, I used to be able to buy these little... I think you can still buy them. These little cups of rice pudding. Mm. And there was strawberry, uh, chocolate. I think there was a custard one. Custard doesn't seem like right. the right thing. No, I never I though I don't really like custard. I've never I've never liked custard. Something about it. Just don't like it. And my mother has always told me, you're really weird, you don't like custard. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't give it to me. It's your opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just it's checking. Like it. Me when I was young. It's one of those things that your parents feed you when you're young and be like, eat this, like this. And I'm like, no. Oh, I, I hate I hated that method of getting us to eat, like, saying, eat it, you'll enjoy it, but that's not... And exciting. then I'd eat it, and I'd be like, no. Uh-uh. I and don't then like it. And then just because you had that nibble, they say they keep saying to you, you liked it before. No, I didn't. I just had a bite of it, that was it. My dad used to cook meals for me and my mother, like, we were both 45, like, I remember he used to try and force me to eat kidney beans when I was younger, and I fucking hate those things. Well, in all fairness, they do add a nice bit of a kick to a chili con carne. I just don't like them. I won't even add them to my chili. There are beans that I will add, but just not those. I like black beans, they're nice. My family. I add them to my chili, but kidney beans, I just, I hate them. You might, too starchy. You might not like what I'm gonna say then. <laughs> My family put in baked beans. Like from the tin? From the tin. I mean, I love beans. I'll just eat them straight out the can. Like we mix them into the chili con carne. I don't think that's that bad. It actually is not. It's not bad. If there's ever time I'll cook, I'll what? try and do what we do. Just in my Obvi brain. Obviously without the mints though. The way my brain works, I'm thinking about that sauce that comes with it. Hmm. And I'm like, I don't think that would go good in a chili con carne. The beans themselves, yeah. The sauce though. You'd be surprised. No, because it's usually so sweet. You'd be surprised. It's got like a hmm. sweet and spicy sort of combination. But mainly spicy. Okay. Might be just sleep out of use. Oh, the way I make chili, 
It's so spicy. <laughs> like, you'll be sweating while you're eating it. What do you use? Sweating what and crying. What do you use? Jalapenos? Um... I had a lot of seasonings. Paprika. Oh, it's sunset. Basil. Chili flakes. There's a lot of those. A lot of paprika and chili flakes and some chili powder. Salt. Garlic. Some pepper. Uh, if we have them, I'll use jalapenos, but we don't often have them in the house. And usually when I make chili, it's just whatever's left over is going into it. Playing a dangerous game adding jalapenos. I like them. They're tasty. I don't like the ones they have at work, though, but they taste like... Because they're in a marinade in a tin. Mm -hmm. So they just taste really chemically, and I don't like it. Fresh ones now, they're really good. Like, um, during the first season of Clarkson's Farm, they, mm -hmm. um, like... Cla wait, 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 I'm sorry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Are you telling me Jeremy Clarkson had a fucking farm? There's a whole Amazon show based on him owning a farm. I did not know. It's on Amazon Prime. It's fucking hilarious. I don't have Amazon Prime, so I know about nothing on Amazon Prime, but what the fuck? Well, like, that is so wild. Yeah, he, he, apparently he's owned the farm for ages, and he knew a friend who um, ran it for him, but the guy retired, and since uh, his whole situation with the God, grand he's a farmer! That makes so much sense. Why do you think I've been showing that picture of the farmer with the show on the sh from showing the sheep next to him? Because he is a farmer now. I didn't know. I didn't know my <laughs> my lore. I guess I'm just running around this uh, crystal pool until a a spaceman with green hair shows up. There's a man waiting in the cave. These these fairies are just dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Ooh, this lasagna is so good! The little chef boy is chefing! For real! Oh my god. I, was, I had so much fun making it too. Jay's sandwiches, where our motto is fast doesn't always mean healthy. I truly believe cooking is my love language because I love cooking and I want to feed people all the time. I like to think that at some point you will try and make an establishment out of your cooking. Like a vegan. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Like a vegan joint all to yourself. You could just have gay stuff. Big vegetarian restaurant. Yeah. Delicious. For years time I'll be going, this video is sponsored by Kira's Veeks. <laughs> Veggie <whatever>. Town. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Veggie Town. A good friend of mine has just opened up a nice spot in the Dublin area. All ready for vegetarian friendly food. Come and stop by and have a good veggie sandwich. Vegetarian food at an affordable price. Ah. Uh. Kira's Veg House. Where it's full of gay people and no meat. <laughs> uh, just a disclaimer, none of that was real, it was just made up. Don't this go- is, This is- this is- this is our dreamland. <laughs> Don't go around Dublin looking for a vegetarian place for gay people. This well, there is a vegan restaurant in the city center. And I'm pretty sure they have pride flags in their window. I don't know if they still do. But their food is their food's good. Okay, th there might be a vegetarian gay place in Dublin, but it's not it's not owned by Kira. <laughs> it's also not sponsoring this stream. Even though that'd be really cool. 
Mm. No, the idea about us getting a sponsor is weird. Like, no mm -hmm. jokes and no content, just un unlegitimate sponsor. The Raging Shadow Legends! Oh. Shit, no. I don't care how much they give us, I'm not sponsoring. I'm not gonna... If anything, I like to get sponsored by Display. Display is one heck of a company to get sponsored by. Especially yeah, since I've, especially since I've already used that product. You got some in behind you, right? Yeah. Like, well, that one, that one you see that in the corner. That's a display. Yeah, and then, yeah. there's also one on the floor after the magnets uh, have kind of fell off. <laughs> Didn't that break on stream? It did. <laughs> Luckily I managed to do something about it in the editing. Oh my god, that was so silly when that happened. Okay, this is actually kind of ridiculous now, because... It's nearly been two hours now, and we haven't found a single Clefairy. Oh wow. Well, what we've been happens? finding Clefairies, but not Shinies. I do have oh, boosted shiny. Shinies. We've boosted Shiny odds right now. Is that no? That's just the okay. That's just the. That moon does look nice. No, it's. I was gonna say it's just the the street lamp behind the house, which is obnoxiously bright. Why would I be looking at that? No, I I thought I left the light on outside the in in our back garden. Oh. Uh, but it was just- it was just the street lamp behind the house. Hi, Binky! No, I'm not gonna let you at the front, because all you ever do is go out for five seconds and want to come back straight back in! That's literally Jess. Binky's it all the time, and then she'll put her face in the window till you let her in. I'll do one more lap around the pool, and then I'll go back into the cave. If I'm lucky, I might even find a car bank when I'm under there. Please help, I am under the water. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I will be right back. I don't know what the other day and now when I need it. Unreal, huh? Did I ask you to do that, bike boy? Wow, everything's against me in this in this session today. Ah.
come on. weird because like this it does like show weird shades of green Point, it's just my head playing with me because I really want this to I really want this blasted shiny to show up at some point. Because I want to look for more interesting shinies. My ugly mug, look at the cleft is getting annihilated by my big hammer. I know I'm probably cocking myself when I say this, but I actually do think I'm gonna have to keep going until I find it. Probably, but... I mean, if you're st starting to... Oh? If I'm going into... If I'm gonna be uploading this without a shiny, what kind of a start is that? To this challenge. I know, but what I'm saying is, you could do do this one for this stream, and then come back to it at a different stream, and then try a different one. So you think now I should try a different hunt? Well, I'm just saying, you could, for this stream, hunt for the Cleffa, and if you don't get it, right? Mm. For the next stream? Try to hunt a different one. And then come back to the Cleffa later. Mm. The thing is, it's not just Cleffa I could find here. With it being a fairy type sandwich, I could find Carbink. Mm. But like the primary goal is to find a a Cleffa. I can get away with Carbink though. Oh no! Opened my PlayStation and the Elder Scrolls Online is updating. Oh! That's a bad thing. So is Call of Duty Cold War. Yes, it is a bad thing because those updates are usually like a hundred gigabytes. They're huge. Ah. Uh, let's go for bitter and spicy this time. I think it's going on my extended storage and not my console storage. Frankly, I think I'm just glad I've already been experimenting with the idea of going over the two-hour mark if need be. 
spooky. Yeah, um, look what I do with this sandwich now, and just since you're an actual sandwich artist, you can actually say if Hold I'm on. actually getting good or not. Let me open the screen. Let me open the stream. Alright. That's a lot of tomato. That's how many is needed to make fairy types show up. Wow. And then slam the top half of the bunny. Do I get the job? Um. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how I would have done it, Chief. I would have done tomato, all tomato first, and then the peppers. <laughs> A bit weird. Right, this is the fourth sandwich I've done now. The way we, the way I do it at work, is butter or sauce, mm. then protein, then I do. Wait, so you give your customers if it's protein? On it, well, protein just meaning whatever meat they want on the sandwich. Oh. Sometimes they don't. And some, so if, if there's a meat going on the sandwich, it goes sauce slash butter. One or the other. Sometimes you want both. And you do meat. Then if they're having like onion, peppers, or tomato on it, they go on. So it'll go tomato and then whatever else. And then if there's lettuce, that goes on after all that. And then, if there's cheese, that goes on last. That is something I <laughs> have heard um, when the idea of um, a vegetarian comes up. That because they don't eat meat, they suffer from a lack of protein. I do not, because I eat corn and other things which are very high in protein. But they're also very high in fiber, so my gut suffers for it. Also, if I'm not having a meat in my meal, I'm not, well, not a meat, a protein, a meat substitute in my meal, I'll add, like, nuts to it. That's usually if I'm having a pack. Does, um, fish I'll have, add does fish have protein nuts. in it? Fra fish does have protein in it, but that's a meat. That's, that's an animal. So I don't, I don't I thought fish. Fi I thought fish was the one exception. I was not some getting confused with Meg. That's for pescatarians. That's Meg. Meg eats fish. I only eat fish if I have literally no other choice. And even then, I don't feel great after I have eaten it. So... Like, physically, it makes me a little bit sick. <laughs> I've never liked to have fish unless it's the type you put into a tuna sandwich. So, tuna? <laughs> yes, but I don't just have tuna steak. Tuna mayo? I don't have tuna steak, I just have... Canned the... tuna. Yes, canned tuna. I only like canned tuna for some reason. That's the same as a, as a, as a thing of tuna. It's just... You know... Pulverized and canned. And cooked. <laughs> Are you seeing this clever? Mm -mm. It looks white. It doesn't look like a decent shiny. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, brother, I don't have the stream open. It does, that's weird. If anything, that looks like a decent shiny for it. I think it's just the lighting, though. 
It is next to that crystal pool over there. Dang it. That might be why. <laughs> I'm gonna get sick of these things. Uh. Oh, I just saw that. Uh. I just saw Ben's message in the Discord and said I need somebody to react to my thing. I said, hey guys, look at my lasagna. And he said, can't help but notice you didn't react to my message. And I was like, all right, read it. <laughs> I didn't say that now, but I didn't read it though. What's right, he well... doing? All right, one more lap around the pool and then I'll go back in the cave. How long are you going to stream for? Um, either until a point where... I have had enough, or I find the stupid marshmallow. Because I think... Ooh. Yeah, we're at 2 hours 12, but... Ooh. Again, like, it's kind of a rough situation if I end this empty-handed. Yeah, but I mean, you're not always going to get the shiny in the first try. That's the thing. Usually with this method, I do. That, this is where I've gotten most of my shinies from in that box. From doing this exact method. Well, There's some times where I've gotten six in one day. So it's absolutely... I, I think I just got really bad luck for this one hunt. Especially when my Pokemon are glitching and not hunting and not killing anything at some points of this. I'm just glad I saved, otherwise I would have been losing so much Herb and Mystica for this. Uh, brother, um... Sorry, I have your Twitch channel open, I'm looking at your schedule. Do you realize that you still have Persona 3, uh, uh I keep portable as your I keep schedule title for Sundays? I keep forgetting to change that. Uh... If anything, I'll probably do it after this. So I was looking at that and I was like, are you going back to that? And I was like, no. Nor. Nor. Come on, please. Just give me a shiny cleffa. A carbink. Something. I think... I think that's the wrong app. I think I'm gonna hop over onto the PlayStation Party. Mm -hmm. Right now. So, uh, come, 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 come join after stream, yes? Yeah. Alright. I'll see you in a while, brother. Yeah. And there that be one. Ah well. Yeah, I've gotten really unlucky, haven't I? There's no denying that, I've just had bad luck. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong, the clevers are spawning. I've got the sandwich up, the shining charm is obviously on. What I'm doing is what I should be. Get done. There's one right in front of you. And once again, uh, you just decide to fuck off when you want to.
check there's a certain limit before it gives uh, before the let's go option gives up and just asks you to send it back in its Pokeball before it asks you to do it again. Which is kind of annoying when you think about it. What is Tinkerton doing now? Nothing. Just going to stomp on you now because I need to take my anchor out on something. Please stop returning to your Pokeball, Tinkerton. Obviously hits me.
beg you. Just give me the stupid clever. I'm not just saying enough is enough. One time, please just let the shiny spawn. At this point, Tinker Turn, I don't blame it. Reset the spawns one second. Um, why aren't there any spawning? Damn it.
You literally have no reason to stop attacking Tinkerton. Okay, no, 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 no. You don't have a reason to stop. Carbink was a shiny man. Oh, uh, apparently a uh, follow up goal just showed up out of nowhere. That's been a thing for a minute. Seven minutes, come on.
come on. Am I just too far away from it or something? Going around, I'm literally begging you, please just show up. So I'm, I'm just all I'm asking for right now. Show up. Please, Clever, just show up. Please get everyone get everyone fingers crossed for me, please. It seems that carving's the best spawn the rare fairy type in this situation. Tinkerton, there's some spawning behind you. No, 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 I don't think so. Don't know about those ones at the back. That car bank, I don't think so. Neither that one. That cleffer isn't. Neither that one. I 
I don't think that one either. Nope. Not that Clefairy. Clefairy, not that one. Nope. I don't think that is. I don't think that is either. Unfortunately, it means that um, we have failed to retrieve the clef for today. And I can't help but feel a bit upset about that. But there is nothing I can do about that at that moment, because time is up for today's stream. I apologize that we have not found any shinies today. Usually, this method usually works, but at the moment. There's, there, there's nothing I can do. So the idea is, we're gonna roll again, with Cleffa still in the pole. If I get it again, fuck me. <laughs> but if I don't, maybe we'll get something a bit more responsive with the spawns. But for now, uh, I hope everyone, well I'll say tolerated this stream, considering there's no shinies. Uh, we'll continue with our Kitakame shiny challenge uh, next Wednesday. Until then, see ya.